On that day, Adams was able to climb to 50 miles above Earth into the thermosphere, high enough for a satellite to enter orbit around the Earth. Reaching this threshold was so significant that the Air Force awarded astronaut wings to pilots that achieved such heights. However, as Adams tried to descend after being so high up, the electronics of the X-15's guidance and reaction controls malfunctioned, causing Adams to lose control of the plane. The aircraft spun at hypersonic speeds as it plunged to the ground below. By the end, Adams was suffering from vertigo and was nearly unconscious. He was unable to eject from the plane in time and perish from a crash into the Mojave Desert. Even after the tragedy with Adams, the X-15 was flown nine more times in 1968. Major Knight was even scheduled to take on its 200th flight in November 1968. But a series of technical problems thwarted the flight, and the X-15 was officially retired soon after. NASA pilot Bill Dana would be the last man to fly the X-15 in what was the 199th flight in the series. That final flight occurred on October 24th.